Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to fix the sound not working in Microsoft Teams. First, we'll check the device settings in Teams. Then we'll check the sound settings in Windows and Mac. And finally, we'll look for updates in the desktop app. If you can't hear the sound in Microsoft Teams, there could be a problem with your audio device. To check that, open Teams, and click the three dots next to your profile image. Then select Settings from the drop-down. In Settings, go to Devices in the left menu. There, make sure the audio devices have been selected correctly. If it says Custom Setup, try selecting an existing audio device. When you're finished, close Settings, and check the sound again. If you're still having trouble hearing sound in Microsoft Teams, you should check your sound settings in Windows or Mac. In Windows, type sound into the search bar, then click open. Here, make sure the correct output is selected. Or, if there are other options, try them to see if your sound output is affected. If you have Teams open, you should be able to adjust the volume and click the down arrow to adjust the input and output devices. You also have the option to reset the sound settings. Next, head up and click sound at the top. Here, you can check or update your speaker settings. Or, if you're using a headset, you can add your device. If you're using speakers, click speakers. Then click check for driver updates. Once you've completed any required updates, try your sound on Teams again. If you're using a Mac, start by opening System Settings, or System Preferences. Then select Sound in the left menu. There, click Output, and then make sure the correct speakers are selected. Also, ensure the output volume is turned up sufficiently. Although Teams should update automatically, it's also worth checking to ensure you've got the latest version. To do that, open Teams, and click the three dots next to your profile image. Then select Check for Updates in the drop-down menu. If you're up to date, the message at the top will say you have the latest version. If you do have the latest version, we suggest restarting your device. Also, if you're currently using the desktop app, try using the web version of Teams. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources. And leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.